So I'm going to show you now a back wax for a male or female. Uh, when you are waxing the back, you want to make sure, like always, that you're checking the direction of the hair growth. And because on the back, it can grow in different directions. Sides can grow up or down. Center uh, along the spine can also grow up or down. Areas as well as upper shoulders, okay, towards the neckline grows different ways as well. Um, so you will need to really pay attention, do a hair growth analysis before applying the wax. What you also want to look is which wax are you going to choose depending on the hair growth. We know if it's thick, coarser hair, you want to use the hard wax. If it's fine, thin hair, you would use the strip wax. So I'm going to show you both techniques, beginning with the hard wax. When you begin with your patches, you want to make sure that you start in an area that has much uh, less hair growth, okay? You don't want to start right where the thickest hair growth is. You always want to be pulling from the least amount of hair growth on the back, starting from the bottom and moving upwards, okay? What's great with the hard wax is that you can actually apply more than one patch at a time. You're also going to also work from the bottom bilaterally. So if whatever I'm doing to one side, you're going to do to the other side. Okay. So here I'm starting up mid back because there's no hair below, but you can go right down to the lower hip, begin right at the lower hip as well. This, this area here is quite sensitive. So you really have to make sure that you are working um, just very long patches before you are um, with your long patch application. So you'll see you can actually work numerous amounts of patches at the same time. Working your way up the back and you can start to make also larger patches. Make sure you check the temperature on your wrist before applying your patches. Um, as the back, because there's a lot of nerve ends, the endings there and you can be very sensitive. So it will feel hotter in the back than it would on your legs and underarms. And you'll see I'm going to apply again another patch. So the hard wax really gives you the opportunity to work the large area. In a much more efficient way. So always pressing on the patch. Like we always do with hard wax, you have your tab, you're always stretching and you're pulling that patch. Always remember what patch you're putting on first. So you would continue working those patches right up over the shoulder. Again, the hard wax works really well at the shoulders because it really, um, because the area has much more um, indents and tissue indentations in the skeletal muscle structure. So it really gets right in there and picks up any of those coarse hairs. Notice as well as when you're working um, up, you want to kind of stay above that, the round of the shoulder of the, of the shoulder bone um, and not go into the arm too much. You're going to want to do the arm, um, the top of the arm from the back 
as part of uh, an arm. So you would sit up, turn over and do the top part of the arm like you would do an arm wax. And most of the time when you are doing the top here of the arm, you want to kind of blend in. You never want to do uh, like a straight line, give like a, a uh, what do we say, like a, a sleeve look, okay? You don't want to give like a t-shirt sleeve look where it's all straight clean here and then hair starts there. You want to start blending. So I'm going to show you how to, what we do to blend the hair into the shoulder. You want to do what we call a stipple effect. So you just kind of stipple the hair, I stipple the wax, sorry, <laughs> into that area. And then you're going to pick off um, you're going to pick up and remove that wax once it's dry. I can go over the areas to clean up once I've removed all the hair off that side. Anything in between, anything along the sides. You see when you remove that it gives like a blended look into the hair into the arm it's not like a straight blank line of hair okay and then I can just do my cleanup patches so if you were doing the strip wax you want to do a full application So you would apply to the whole back, again thin like you would in the rest of the body. And you're going to want to make sure again you remove from the hair. So you want to make sure that you're holding, you're usually, right now I'd be standing on the other side of the bed, you'd be on the opposite side, right? And you're always facing on the opposite side of the body when you're removing from, um, from the back, same as you would from bikini or underarm, okay? And you would, hold on, you make sure that you're always holding and Soothing afterwards. Okay, sometimes there's hair down the middle, again, that grows straight down or straight up. You would apply wax down the center of the spine and then remove it off. Remove any excess wax that's left. You want to make sure that there's no excess hair. Definitely uh, look at the sides. Okay, usually uh, you go to the back, right down to the sides of the body on the back, and you remove the hair there. And great, in blend into the shoulders, and um, you will be completed your back wax. And make sure you put a soothing cream on afterwards. And that's your back wax.